With 71% of the Earth's surface covered in water, there are countless strange and horrific creatures lurking in the deep, and many more yet to be discovered. The next time you go swimming, you may want to worry about what lies beneath your feet. So join me, because here are the 15 most terrifying sea creatures. Number 15. Helicoprion all right, why not kick off this list with something a little prehistoric? Nature must have a really sick sense of humor because when it created this terrifying sea creature, I guess it thought it would be fun to combine the horror of a shark with the danger of your dad's power tools. This prehistoric shark, known as the Helicoprion, dates back to over 270 million years ago, when sea monsters really did rule the oceans. Its appearance is both unique and utterly frightening, to say the least with its most notable physical feature being the circular, toothy saw right in the middle of its mouth, which acted as a natural form of defense that probably also warded off predators to begin with. But what other sea monster would even dream of messing with this thing? It looked more like a buzzsaw death trap than it did an animal, but then again there are plenty of prehistoric creatures that would better serve as today's nightmare fuel than yesterday's fauna. In 1950, scientists found the remnants of a helicoprion in a bay in Idaho that gave them some insight into exactly what it may have looked like. The saw whorl was made up of some cartilage, yes, but also a whopping 117 teeth that sat either in its gaping maw or its lower lip and curled under the chin. Either way, whoever ended up as the helicoprion's meal was pureed before they were eaten. This was one fish you didn't want to mess with. Number 14. Goblin Shark What could possibly be scarier than a shark? How about a shark mixed with a goblin? And while that may sound better suited to be the antagonist of an odd fairy tale, the goblin shark is very real, very ugly, and very scary. The goblin shark has a snout that sticks out more like a sword than it does a nose, and just below is a big, nasty set of protruding jaws that look like it's too big for the shark's face. But they're real alright. Sometimes evolution can be just downright cruel to some creatures in the looks department. And to somehow make matters worse, the goblin shark's skin is pink instead of the usual gray. When this thing's coming right at you, it is pretty hard to miss. That's also due to its oddly large size, growing up to 18 feet long. But then again, since they live down on the Mariana Trench at about 3,000 feet below the surface, the odds of a run-in are slim to none. And the older the goblin shark gets, the deeper they can dive. But since they live so deep in the trench, not much is known about them outside their ghastly appearance. And since no one really knows how the goblin shark reproduces, you can't rule out the theory that one is born every time a child has a nightmare. Number 13. Giant Sunfish Okay, imagine going for a swim in the warm tropical waters only to have an encounter with one of the biggest, freakiest looking fish you've ever seen. Sunfish are harmless, yet massive fish that traverse the depths of our oceans. One was caught in 1996 off the coast of Japan that really threw scientists and researchers for a loop. This sea beast weighed in at a staggering 5,000 pounds. Scientists originally thought that this was a species of sunfish called Mola Mola, and that this specimen in particular was an anomaly. But the Mola Mola on any given day has a somewhat flat appearance. But these gentle giants are enormous nonetheless, and can still grow to colossal sizes on a normal day. They also have bony skeletons, which makes them, generally speaking, the heaviest fish in the sea, and can grow to be 10 feet long. If any normal person were to encounter one in the wild, there's no shame in swimming for their lives at first glance. And while many scientists thought that they had the identity of the 5,000 plus pound fish pinned down, there were some who were still left scratching their heads. They did a little digging and concluded that they had in fact discovered a new species of sunfish, which they classified as Mola alexandrini. This scientific finding leads researchers to believe that there are even more species of sunfish than have been recorded as of yet, meaning there's even more of these monsters lurking in the depths waiting to be found. That is if they don't find you first. Number 12. Frilled Shark There are plenty of beautiful fish in the sea, but unfortunately this is not one of them. The frilled shark dates back 80 million years and is considered by scientists to be a living fossil. The serpentine frill shark can grow up to 7 feet long and gets its name from the frilled appearance of its gills, but it's this sea creature's horrifying maw that really captures your attention. And though it may be a shark, this incredible creature moves through the water more like a snake, or maybe even a 7-foot dragon. 
They typically live in the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans around the continental shelf, but they're more than happy to slither up to the surface at night to feed on creatures like squid and cuttlefish, swallowing their prey whole. And if that isn't freaky enough, they've even been seen snacking on other sharks too. The frilled shark swims with its mouth wide open, and its white teeth attract prey right into its gaping jaws, and then they use negative pressure to suck them right into its clutches. And while the odds of seeing a frilled shark while going for a casual swim are pretty slim, the thought of those cold black eyes staring back into yours is enough to send shivers down your spine. Number 11. Giant Isopod there are about 5,000 species of isopods living in the ocean, and generally speaking, they're all pretty similar. They have two pairs of antennae, compound eyes, six segmented abdomens, seven sets of legs, and four sets of jaws. Most of them are pretty small, but just imagine the horror of coming across one that's two and a half feet long. The giant isopod looks more like an enormous alien insect than it does a crustacean. This creature belongs to the genus Bathonymus and lives in the cold waters of the Pacific and Atlantic at depths of up to 8,000 feet, so they really do thrive in those kinds of cold, dark reaches of the ocean. The giant isopod are mostly scavengers, feeding on the carcasses of dead whales, squids, and fish, and a big group of these is the last thing you'd want to see when exploring seabeds. And when they don't want to be seen, the giant isopod curls up into a ball while blending into the sandy seabed, which means they can be all around you and you wouldn't even know it. But despite their ridiculous size and looking like a horrific kaiju, the giant isopod is completely harmless to humans. Number 10. Gulper Eel one look at the gulper eel and you think you're looking at an actual sea monster. The most notable attribute of the gulper eel is without a doubt its mouth, which almost resembles that of a pelican. Only this one has more of a sinister look to it, and that's probably because of the rows of massive teeth the gulper eel uses to chow down on their unsuspecting prey. Their mouth's hinge is nice and loose, which allows them to open it wide enough to swallow other fish much larger than themselves. Biting off more than they can chew is never an issue. The unfortunate fish then sits in the gulper eel's lower jaw, thinking about its life before being swallowed, and its stomach is large enough to handle such big meals. The gulper eel is a deep sea creature, so its eyes are incredibly small, seeing as how they've never been exposed to sunlight, and adding to their monstrous look is their incredibly long whip-like tail. These fish can sometimes show up as a fisherman's bycatch, and it's not uncommon for their tails to have whipped around so much during their lifetimes that they've tangled themselves up into knots. The end of the tail is also equipped with a light-producing bioluminescent organ they use to help lure in prey with its red flashes in the dark waters. Smaller gulper eels will still grow to about three feet long, but the larger ones can easily reach six feet. Number 9. Vampire Squid Despite its name and appearance, the vampire squid is neither a squid nor an octopus, and luckily it's not a vampire either. But what it is, is scary looking. And although it is a cephalopod, scientists have categorized it as a completely separate animal. They have eight arms and two tentacles. But where does the name vampire squid come from? Well, in each of their arms is a flap or web of skin, which makes it look like they're wearing a cape. The vampire squid dwells in the pitch black waters of the mesopelagic zone and uses its bioluminescent organs to attract and snatch up its prey in its tentacles. These light-producing organs are all over the vampire squid's body and can be brightened, dimmed, and left glowing for several minutes at a time. And because they exist in such darkness, kind of like actual vampires, their tentacles are covered in tiny hairs that allow them to sense when prey is close. They typically feed on the remains of zooplankton like jellyfish and other dead organic materials. Another incredible adaptation of this terrifying undersea creature is the oxygen metabolism that allows it to not just survive, but thrive in parts of the ocean with the lowest concentrations of oxygen. Just don't bring it out into the daylight. Number 8. Pliosaur While Jurassic Park may have been a massive box office hit, it left out some pretty key prehistoric players. The underwater monster, known as the Pliosaur, may not have fit in next to the likes of the T-Rex, but it's still pretty terrifying in its own right. The Pliosaur lived during the Jurassic period and was undoubtedly one of the most fearsome beasts in the waters at the time. So fearsome, in fact, that it's been described as a crocodile on steroids. Yikes. And by judging from the fossils, they could all grow up to 59 feet in length. 
This sea creature most likely had a jaw the size of today's average human, with large, razor-sharp teeth, and a nasty bite that had enough pressure to take down even the biggest of prey like it was nothing. That's not to mention their eyes, which were the size of melons, which gave this Jurassic-era predator binocular vision. That means that the pliosaur most likely saw you before you saw it, and by then, it was probably too late. Their necks were short, but their paddle-shaped limbs made them exceptionally fast swimmers, and scientists and paleontologists have gathered that they could swim up to six miles per hour. They've also found that the pliosaur relied on a diet of mostly fish, mollusks, and other marine reptiles, but they've also found something a bit more surprising – dinosaur bones. Whether they actually hunted down dinosaurs or simply fed on their remains like a vulture, no one can really know for sure, but that's something you can really sink your teeth into. Number 7. Zombie Worms You don't have to be big to be terrifying, case in point, with the zombie worm. The frilly and feathery appearance of the zombie worm can sometimes give them a nice appearance, but you don't get called a zombie for being nice. Even their nickname, the Bone Worm, gives them an ominous presence. The zombie worm feasts on the rock-hard bones of anything and everything that it comes across, including something as gargantuan as a whale carcass. But it's not like it's going to swallow the skeleton whole. Instead, the zombie worm secretes an acid to help get into the inner contents of the bones, where all of the good stuff is. From there, it uses bacteria to convert the bone proteins into fat and nutrients that become their food. The zombie worm has little feathery branches that wiggle in the water to pull oxygen in and keep it alive, so it's certainly a strange little creature that can eat for hours and hours without needing to gasp for air in between bites. But fear not, because the zombie worms want nothing to do with the living, and the females only grow to about two inches long, while the males are microscopic. Seeing hundreds, if not thousands, of these creatures feasting on a dead animal makes for one terrifying sight, so it looks like one animal's trash really is someone else's treasure, or food in this case. Number 6. Dunkelosteus the Dunkelosteus is an extinct sea monster that can give the great white shark a run for its money. Judging from the fossils that were left behind, it was a huge and probably ugly brute. It ate just about anything it could get its jaws on. Sure, it feasted on your average sea creatures like prehistoric fish and reptiles, but it also had no problem chowing down on sharks and even smaller members of its own species. But instead of using teeth to chomp on its prey, the Dunkelosteus had two long blades in its mouth that are used to cut and crush them in one fell swoop. This real-life sea monster was so big and so fast that it had absolutely no problem tracking and hunting down its meals in the dark depths of the sea. The Dunkelosteus was destructive by design, almost like a bull in a china shop. They typically came in at 33 feet in length and weighed about 4 tons each. That's bigger than a killer whale, and probably even deadlier too. Then there are the hard bone plates on its head that it allegedly used as both body armor and a battering ram to stun prey before they entered the Dunkelosteus's great maw. But oddly enough, for something so terrifying, many scientists also believe that it was one of the first animals to mate in order to reproduce. So as much as this was a maritime killer, it also had a softer side. Number 5. Tylosaurus prorigger The next terrifying sea creature on this list was so big and so nasty that it swam its way onto the silver screen back in 2015. The Tylosaurus prorigger was a large water-bound lizard that actually evolved from land-based ancestors over millions of years. It developed a long and powerful tail as well as some pretty sturdy limbs that look more like the paddles of a boat than they do your modern-day fins. This bad boy was no doubt a carnivore, and it relied on its fearsome and imposing double set of cone-shaped teeth to kill prey with just one bite. It had an incredible muscular jaw that allowed it to often swallow its prey whole, and its two rows of teeth trapped anything and everything like the bars of a bone prison to make sure that nothing would escape its watery clutches. That's pretty rough. The Tylosaurus prorigger was one of the larger marine reptiles of its time, and could reach a length of up to 45 feet. While they haven't existed for roughly 65 million years, their remains are still being discovered in what are now the dry areas of places like Kansas and Texas. This means that those dry and desert areas were once home to the Western Interior Seaway and some other marine dinosaurs that no doubt fell victim to the Tylosaurus prorigger. Just be thankful it's extinct. Number 4. Spider Crab If you suffer from arachnophobia, then this is your only warning. Just when you thought the oceans were safe from spiders, think again. 
The Japanese spider crab is the largest arthropod on Earth. Measuring from the tip of one claw to another, it can grow up to 12 feet long, which seems to be large enough to take on Godzilla himself. These are deep sea creatures, and some have been found at depths of 1,800 feet below the surface, and despite their monstrous appearance, they're still the favorite food of marine predators. The spider crab will protect themselves from hungry predators by covering themselves with kelp in order to blend in, and if all goes well, they can live to be up to 100 years old. And while these creepy crustaceans may look hard on the outside, the joints of the Japanese spider crab can become very fragile as they age, so it's not uncommon for them to lose a limb or two during their century-long lifespan. And despite their looks, the Japanese spider crab is an incredibly popular delicacy and is a victim of overfishing, with conservation efforts having been made to keep the species alive. But I won't blame you if your initial instinct upon seeing one being wheeled into a restaurant is to run. Number 3. Black Sea Devil Anything with devil in its name can't be good, right? And the Black Sea Devil is no exception. This sea creature is pure nightmare fuel, and it's got a whole slew of strange and downright hideous attributes to keep you up at night. At first glance, this thing looks like something conjured from another plane of existence, but alas, it is an Earth creature. Just a really, really mean-looking one. It's got a weird and misshapen body, razor-like teeth, and those eyes that just do not blink. Luckily, the females don't grow to be more than 8 inches, and the males clock in at just an inch. But with such a vast difference in size, how do they, you know, like, mate? This is a weird one, folks, because the male sea devil will fuse to the female during reproduction. Everything down to the male's teeth, fins, eyes, and internal organs all but disappear as the two become one. Whatever's left of the male body becomes the female's storage tank for sperm that will eventually fertilize her eggs. That must make for a weird first date. But as you probably guessed, the sea devil isn't gunning after its prey. Instead, it's just going to use an angler of its namesake to draw in any unsuspecting fish who just can't take their eyes off those big, bright, shiny lights in a literal sea of darkness. By the time you realize you've gotten too close, those jaws are shut and your story ends right there. Sorry. Number 2. Megalodon it's a good thing for ocean lovers that so many scary sea creatures are extinct. Or are they? The Megalodon is the granddaddy of all Earth's creatures, present and past. It grew to sizes more than three times that of a great white shark, and its massive jaw was home to rows upon rows of seven-inch teeth. The Megalodon's teeth were big enough to make short work of their enormous prey like whales and other sharks. In fact, the megalodon's extinction is what allowed certain species of whales to grow to their modern-day size. How amazing that the only way for other aquatic animals to evolve was for this guy to leave. The megalodon typically came in at 59 feet long and was undoubtedly the ocean's apex predator. Their fossils have been found in the waters off Africa, Europe, and the Americas, meaning nowhere was safe from this guy. Because they had no natural predators and could roam the Earth's oceans freely, what caused the megalodon to go extinct remains a mystery. And while it hasn't been around for nearly two and a half million years, there are plenty of people out there who believe that the ancient sea monster is still lurking in the depths of the ocean. Too bad no one can say for sure. Best to swim in areas where you can only see the bottom. Number 1. Giant Squid the final sea creature on this list has struck terror into the hearts of seafarers for years and was once thought to be an actual sea monster and inspired a famous scene in the classic book 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. When you take a look at this thing, it's pretty easy to see why. Architeuthis dux, better known as the giant squid, is not the type of creature you want to see swimming up from underneath you. The largest one ever recorded came out to 43 feet long, which is about half the size of your average blue whale. The giant squid spends the majority of its time in the darkest reaches of the ocean, and when humans do encounter one, it's typically when their carcass is washed ashore. They have eight arms and two longer tentacles that are the longest known of any cephalopod, which account for much of the creature's length. This makes it much lighter than the other giants of the ocean, and even a more lethal predator as the tentacles snatch their prey and pull it into its sharp beak to be devoured. But the giant squid does at least have one mortal enemy, the sperm whale. Scientists have documented sperm whales both beached and in the wild with circular scars of the giant squid's suction cups. To make matters worse, each suction cup or sucker is about 5 centimeters in diameter and lined with razor-sharp teeth, making it as deadly as it is incredible. 
Watch our Animals playlist for more top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.